All right, we have the Director General of the National Biotechnology Development Agency, Professor Abdullahi Mustafa, who is going to tell us more on the food security and biotech in agriculture. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. All right, when we say biotechnology, what exactly are we implying and where does Nigeria come in in that regard? Well, um, you see, uh, this is uh, an emerging science, science that is now evolving worldwide. And uh, this is something that is now uh, adopted by uh, strong countries to uh, bring food security in their countries. So uh, the federal government has established National Biotechnology Development Agency uh, to uh, adopt those systems that uh, when you utilize biotechnology as applied science, mm -hmm. you can clear so many of the bedeviling issues in the country be it environment, be it, uh, as, uh, be it uh, medic medical, and be it agriculture, be it industry, and many more. So it is all encompassing. And uh, agriculture is uh, one part of it where we are working tirelessly to see the uh, improvement in the country uh, uh, using the technology by adopting to crops that are resistant to uh, uh, pest, resistant to drought, and um, high yield and uh, even uh, nutritional security. So this is the technology and uh, it has come to stay in Nigeria. Uh, recently we have uh, uh, developed some uh, crops that have been released. We have released uh, using uh, this, uh, we have released BT cowpea and that one is uh, towards uh, food security. And uh, when you're talking about industrial aspect, we have released uh, BT cotton. And uh, there are some crops that are in the pipeline, uh, which is uh, involving uh, teller maize, which is in collaboration with IR Zaria. We're working on it, and uh, soon it is going to be released. Remember the crisis that we're in now. I think last year uh, the federal government has allowed for the importation of uh, maize. So this will solve this problem. Yes, because I was going to ask you how would this you know, solve food crisis in the country if we adopt this biotechnology? Of course, it's going to bring uh, more than enough uh, within a, a short, uh, short or small field. You can farm and you can have high yield and high quality. Mm -hmm. And uh, you are going to use less chemical. And uh, even the fertilizer is not going to be much uh, because uh, the technology is taking care of uh, so many aspects of it. Apart from the maize, we are going to release uh, uh, rice because there is okay. a program on newest rice. Okay. And there is also soybean. So this thing is gradual and we begin with uh, the maize, we begin with uh, cowpea and then uh, next is going to be maize and then it is going to be soybean, it is going to be rice. So that is how we are going gradually to see that we have now filled the vacuum that is created. Remember, uh, now it is using the technology uh, that you can now farm in a small farmland and you can meet the requirement considering our population, considering the uh, land tenure system whereby uh, the land now is being divided into smaller portions, but adopting the biotechnology, you will have a high yield crop and you will have resistance to pests, you have uh, use of less use of chemicals okay. and so many advantages like that. Um, but you know, this is going to be new, um, not really new. How would, you know, farmers, you know, people who are into the farming business accept this um, technology. Uh, to be honest with you, uh, the farmers have already accepted it. For example, uh, some few months that we have released the cowpea in Kano, uh, the, the, the leaves have gone viral, everybody is looking for the cowpea. Uh, the companies that were saddled with the responsibility of producing these, the, the, uh, the, the seedlings were overwhelmed. Okay. They can't meet the demand because the farmers are aware. They were given trial previous year. And when you see the trial, they have compared between the local variety and the improved variety. And you see it is about four or five times high yield. And even the, uh, the, 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 the pot borer that is uh, bedeviling it, it is now no longer uh, affecting the pod of that uh, 
cowpea. So which means high yield is guaranteed and the quality of the seed is also, the quality of the product is also guaranteed. So that is why everybody is now uh, rushing to accept it. And that is what is going to happen with the maize when it is released. So that one too, I'm sure the farmers are anxiously waiting for it. Okay, we hope to see the benefit of the yield and increase. Thank you very much. Um, DG, National Biotechnology Development Agency, Professor Abdullahi Mustafa. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much.